Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we have new flashback players as well as a new flashback solo. It seems like flashbacks will be coming out on Thursdays opposed to Fridays, which would make so much more sense. But flashbacks will be releasing every Thursday. It looks like two of them will be released, an offensive and a defensive player, as well as a solo challenge that awards you a flashback badge. So, the flashback badges that you get from doing the collection, trading in five elite badges for a flashback badge, is now incredibly pointless, and no one should do it, because it's just a waste of 125k. There aren't even that many flashback players going for more than 125k to begin with, so I would not suggest at all even thinking about doing, uh that collection just wait until the next week and get the flash the free flashback badge because that's what this rewards it says flashback item but it rewards you a flashback badge i don't know why it just doesn't say flashback badge but that's what it re rewards you 500 coins and a flashback badge uh in week 13 of the 20 or the 2008 season d'angelo williams led the panthers to a 35 to 31 win over the packers with four rushing touchdowns Hold the Panthers to zero rushing touchdowns to win this challenge and receive a flashback badge. Expires Saturday, September 3rd at 10 a.m. So, I miss, it says it's a moment, but I think it's a longer solo challenge than just a short moment, since you have to hold them to zero rushing touchdowns. But let's take a look at the players. We'll take a look at the sets first, and then we'll go look at the players. So, flashback, we've got 12 sets now. The new players are D'Angelo Williams and I think Akeem, yeah, Akeem Tlaib is in PAX. So we'll take a look at that. Akeem Tlaib is in PAX and D'Angelo Williams is the collection card. 88 overall halfback. You need the four touchdowns, the 72 rush yards, 21 carries, the 2008 season collectible, and the week 13 collectible. Uh, the collectible is currently 75,000 for the four touchdowns because no one has pulled any of these yet. 50,000. Okay, so you could get him for the the nice low price of like 200k. Because we're at like 150 now. There's not even any of these up on the auction, so you can't even complete it right now. So I might not be able to show you the stats. Yeah, it's, it's going to be over 200,000. But that is the D'Angelo Williams. Let's go take a look on the auction, see if he is up. And then I'll show you guys the Akib Talib, which they didn't really do a good job advertising that this Akib Talib is out. Nor did they do a great job on Twitter. Like, their Twitter picture is just got an Akib Talib in a little, little bottom left corner. There you go. There's Akib Talib. Uh, let me know, guys, if you want me to do the uh, puzzle pieces, if you want me to do those new collections. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do those elite player collections for the puzzle pieces. If you do... Uh, I'll try and get those done on the cheap because I really don't you can't sell the elite so I don't really want to do them for expensive amounts but let's see here program flash pack and D'Angelo Williams is up there's one up for 275k let's look at his stats quickly because he expires here in a second uh, he's got 69 strength 90 agility 88 speed 91 excel 93 awareness, 69 catching, 91 carrying, that's really nice. 77 plat pass block, that's really nice. 79 jumping, 70 trucking, uh, 92 elusiveness, uh, 93 ball carry vision, 75 stiff arm, 91 spin, 93 juke. Uh, none of this matters. 88 injury, 89 stamina, 69 spec catch, 71 catch in traffic, 72 route running. 72 route running is pretty good. And I think that is that is all the important stats, but that card's not half bad. Only an 88 overall, but not a half bad card. I still think I would probably take this DeMarco Murray just because it's cheaper uh, by a ton. And that DeMarco Murray is actually getting in the range where I'm, I'd actually consider buying it. All right, now, moment of truth. Is the Akib Talib up? He is. Two Akib Talibs have been pulled. 89 overall in packs for 48 hours. Maybe I'll rip some packs tomorrow. Uh, I've got... I'm, I'm going to do on my birthday like I have since I think Madden 13. I'm going to do a birthday bundle on my birthday because why not? And maybe... I might pull that tomorrow just so I can go after this Akib Talib. Because uh, if I pulled it, I might actually keep it because I like Akib Talib. He's got 80... Or let's look at it this way. Um... 
Okay, Tlaib had two interceptions, returned for four, returned one for a touchdown, and added five tackles as the Bucks took down the Cardinals 38 to 35 in Week Eight of the 2010 season. Uh, he has 68 strength, 90 agility, 86 speed, 91 excel, 88 awareness, 84, 84 catching. That is really nice for a corner. 75 carries, so he won't fumble the ball. He's got bad tackling at 66, but not horrible. You can work with that as a corner. Uh, 93 jumping. He can return kicks, kind of. Uh, 79 elusiveness, 86 ball carry vision. None of this really matters, but 80 spin and 88 juke. Uh, he can kind of rush pretty well. 76 pursuit is nice. 88 player rack. 85 man, 89 zone. I'd like those to be a little bit higher for an 89 overall, but those are those are pretty good. Those are workable stats. 91 stamina, 86 injury. 79 spec catch is really nice. 65 catch and traffic. 59 route running. 71 hit power. 91 press is really nice. Really would work well for me because I like to press my corners. I like to man-to-man -man press my corners. Uh, that's just how I like to roll with my corners. But guys, that is the new flashback players, Akib Tlaib and D'Angelo uh, Williams. I will have a video later on tonight showing the completion of the Ultimate Seasons, the preseason. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you all in my next one. Peace out.